I have a quote here from Helen Keller. She's talking about how we are born again. And she says, it happens by keeping our hearts always warm and pure. This is how we become truly alive. But this beautiful work of recreation comes not by observation. It is wrought in the quiet depths of the soul. For as the Lord says, the wind bloweth where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound thereof. But thou canst not tell whence it cometh and whither it goeth. So is everyone who is born of the Spirit. So I was thinking about that and I thought here in the presence of all these windmills you might make some comments about the wind and the meaning of the wind in relation to how we're born of the Spirit. Well I guess for me uh, I got involved in spiritual work later in life. I was always interested in it as younger but there was a time when the physical was so important to me. You know my speed and my looks and my successes or my failures, how I compared to other people and what you could see you know in the physical. Just like you can see these windmills and they're, they're huge you know they're very impressive. But the windmills wouldn't be here uh, and they wouldn't be turning, these huge blades wouldn't be turning if there weren't something else here that we don't see. And that's the wind. And the wind isn't uh, as small as these windmills or just big enough to make the windmills go, it's infinite. It covers the entire earth. It's what allows those clouds to be there. It's what it allows us to live. It's what uh, allows trees to live and animals to live and it's movement. Uh, we can feel the movement, we can see, we can see the effect it has, but it's pretty anonymous. It's as if it weren't even there, even though we're breathing it. Our very life depends on it. And you know, there's people who actually think there isn't something that we call spiritual. So they think there's only the natural. But if we look at a woman holding a young baby and see the love she has for the baby and the baby's love for the mother, that love you can't see that love. You can see a face, you can see a baby, you can see a mother. But that's not what we're looking at. You can't see where it comes from. You can see the effects. You can't see the love itself. You can see the effect on the smile. You can see your beloved come in with a smile. You can see that's love. And we know love, we know affections and thoughts uh, are what make life worth living, not just the physical things. So some people think the spiritual life comes when you die and you go to a different spiritual world. And that may also be true, but the spiritual world is here and uh, you open a book, a book is just made of ink and paper and you open it and when you start to read a story, the story you read, the plot you read, all of that isn't taking place on the page, it's taking place within you. But you can't hand someone a thought, you can't hand someone a feeling. So when we're talking about uh, work, spiritual work, we're talking about working with thoughts and feelings to get to the best of the thoughts and the best of the feelings and there are certain feelings which are negative and heavy and separate people and those are the feelings that are centered on me and concerns of myself there are other feelings that are light that are high that are expressive and bring people together and those are the kind of things we can have movement we place these uh, windmills they're not placed here arbitrarily they're placed here because this is a good place and what we're trying to do in spiritual work is to find a good place to be so that what we can't see but we can feel and animates our life can give us that power and give us that energy and it's not just giving power and energy to have these things go around that power is going somewhere it's lighting a house it's warming a house it's warming a, a child who's cold uh, so that's the same with God's love we can't see it we don't know where it comes from or whence it goeth but we feel it. it's our very life yeah. and that very life is the power of God coming through us and generating through us to go out to others.